so hello students <coughs> so so hope uh, you are everybody is uh, doing well and uh, today uh, we are going to go through the uh, cloud assignment um, it's an assignment on um, virtualization okay so let's go through it so virtualization is uh, one of the uh, technologies that is uh, used on cloud it is one of the most important uh, technology I will say which uh, is used on the cloud to serve so many customers so with that let's uh, look at the assignment right can I zoom this a little bit oh, so much oh, maybe a little bit oh. okay let's keep it at that level so the first now here it's mentioned task number seven so you may be wondering why this is not task number one and um, why this is uh, task number seven the the thing is um, in your practical list uh, you will have a similar uh, practicals which says install and demonstrate uh, FOSS cloud functionality VSI virtual server infrastructure infrastructure as a service so um, so I'm not going to use FOSS. FOSS is an outdated uh, practical. It, um, I think it should be removed out of the practical list. In fact, my uh, laptop got damaged and I landed up paying 8,000 rupees for experimenting. So, uh, you know, I had to repair my laptop and that's where the expense went. So, uh, so it's very old. It's outdated. There's nobody, no support, uh, no developer around to support it. It's just lying around since many, many years, and it's totally outdated, and should be removed from the university's uh, syllabus, according to me. But if you want to try using FOSS, I will say it is risky, and uh, because my laptop got damaged. So, but you could try, uh, maybe in the university. Um, so having said that, we'll be shifting to Oracle VirtualBox, which I feel is uh, very reliable, very useful, very relevant, and it serves the purpose. So it says we have to implement infrastructure as a service in this case, right? So infrastructure. So at this point, let's uh, draw some diagram because if you do not um, understand these terms, so you need to know what infrastructure. We have already gone through our lectures, um, you know, on what this um, infrastructure as a service means. So the first thing you need to understand is uh, you are working on a computer, right? So this is your computer. Let's assume. So let's uh, give it some uh, thick line. So this is your computer. So I let me call this my computer. Now this will be uh, will be creating some uh, virtual machine on this particular on my computer so so my m computer will be hosting another machine so that's why it is called host machine so any machine that you know invites uh, some or lets some other machine to uh, be installed on itself becomes the host so so host is a very common word which is used um, uh, sometimes uh, so let's say um, we fall sick and the virus gets into us so virus as 
uh, we are the host to the virus so either so virus is staying in us so we are the host sometimes guests come to a house so we are hosting a party right so that's a that's where the word host comes from so it is called the host machine then on this machine we uh, so this is a physical machine right so my computer is uh, same as host machine is same as physical machine because it uh, exists in uh, reality and this was uh, this physical machine um, has uh, hard disk has ram right so it's a memory and hard disk and it has uh, in my case it has an operating system which is windows okay so this particular diagram at this stage so let me save this it closed itself okay here it is and uh, let me create one more so the same thing what we are seeing at the underlying level we have the hardware right now hardware consists of what ram and storage the uh, it contains a processor also so this is what we refer to as this is a physical infrastructure so the we already have physical infrastructure with us right then on top of this what do we have uh, on this hardware we have we have our uh, operating system running right so so we draw a line over here just to separate the two and uh, then we have operating system over here so windows is running over here so whatever i showed you in the other diagram uh, the same thing is represented in this fashion so let's say i have windows 10 now i am going to create a virtual machine on the top of this but so i want to create a virtual machine on the top of this so you can have as many virtual machine as you want so virtual machine 1 and um, you can create let's say two virtual machine if you want each of this machine will be given some part of the physical infrastructure so it may get uh, so you'll have, so let's say um, you have 1 tb hard disk so we may give uh, some uh, 8 gb to virtual machine 1 16 gb to virtual machine 2 then let's say you have a ram of 16 gb so you might give uh, 4 gb to virtual machine 1 and 8 gb to um, virtual machine 2 so we can allocate it but this virtual machine does not run uh, on its own it requires a software called hypervisor so above this hypervisor all virtual machine will exist and the hypervisor in the our case it is installed over the operating system so what is an example of hypervisor it is the software which we are going to use which is oracle 
virtual box that is what we have installed right that is what you are expected to install on your operating system you need to download it and install it so this is the hypervisor this hypervisor in turn will help us create the virtual machine right so this is the uh, structure of the infrastructure I think the font is too small right we need to increase the font but right now I hope you can see this um, but I'm, I will try to does it as a okay so for now I'll have to keep it like this So this was a machine inside on the top of this machine what did we install we installed we are we are installing a we're going to install a hypervisor right so this is our hypervisor inside this hypervisor I am going to create machines So when I say machine, it means I'm going to have a hard disk, RAM and operating system. So I'm going to create virtual machine one. So when we say we have to, so this is going to have some part of the, um, some RAM, some hard disk, right? And it is also going to use some processor. So if you have a core processor, uh, then some, you know, um, you may assign, if there are multiple pr core processors, you know, we say multi um, dual core, right, dual core, quad core. So you can assign one core uh, to work only for this virtual machine. So you can do, and we, where do you take these pieces from? From the physical machine. So part of the physical machine is given to this machine over here. So the, so the virtual machine is still using the physical machine and is using whatever we have allocated so how many virtual machines can run um, how many virtual machines you can create in um, by, uh, the way that a hypervisor can create it uh, basically depends on how much space is available how much ram is available and how much processors are available so if you have um, one tb hard disk that is the maximum you can uh, the virtual machine uh, you know all together can uh, um, utilize maximum 1 TB hard disk then whatever the limit of the physical machine is becomes a limit of com uh, all the virtual machines together so on this uh, operating system I have other softwares also right this is my operating system I have all the softwares apart from uh, so you can see all the softwares are there I even any desk is here so apart from this I even I have the Oracle virtual box also as a software installed so that is my Oracle virtual box so here I have um, all my softwares all other softwares you can see which is running over the operating system and the operating system then works with all this infrastructure underlying anything that has to do with physical infrastructure it has to go through the operating system so this is what we are you know trying to do in the first uh, assignment we are trying to create an infrastructure which is like a service which is like a software program 
so we are creating a machine as if it's a software infrastructure as a uh, you know uh, as if it's a software so that's why it's called infrastructure as a service so when you create a virtual machine you're creating infrastructure as a service so let's go ahead and do that oracle virtual box i start my hypervisor Now there are two types of hypervisor, hypervisor 1 and hypervisor 2. So hypervisor 2, you need an operating system. Hypervisor 1, you don't need an operating system. Uh, it is, um, you know, uh, the hyper, the, it operates directly over the machine. So the hypervisor is, la, hypervisor type 1 is uh, like, uh, uh, operating system itself but in our case we are using hypervisor type 2 so let me type 2 because type 2 will run over the is type 2 or type 1 let me see sometimes even I get confused So the diagram which I just uh, drew was a hardware virtualization reference model. So it has a host machine over here, right down if you see. Then it has a hypervisor which is also called virtual machine manager. And inside this virtual machine manager we are creating virtual machine. That's what you see over here. And uh, inside the virtual machine we are going to install an operating system which is called a guest operating system. Now what I was looking for was for type 1 hypervisor. So you see type 1 hypervisor, uh, you have virtual machine manager which is your hypervisor directly running over the hardware. It doesn't require an operating system, it is an operating system by itself. So you don't require another, uh, you know, another, an operating system to run this virtual machine manager. This software is the only one running over the hardware. This hardware is fully dedicated to the virtual machine manager. And in type 2 hypervisor you have hardware, then you have an operating system on the top of this and then you have a virtual machine manager in which case uh, in our case it is Oracle virtual box and on the top of virtual machine manager we have all the VMs. So this is your hardware virtualization reference model. This is how any hardware virtualization is uh, will exist. So it will have a host it will have a virtual machine manager and it will have a guest so if you go through the slides then um, you will um, come across all these concepts so let's go ahead and create a virtual machine which is infrastructure as a service so this is your IAAS
so the way you create it is machine new machine and uh, so you can give some so let's say you create a machine you want to next you give some how much memory I have 16 GB memory so I can give 4 MB memory to it next and uh, create a virtual hard disk means uh, I'm going to take 10 GB I've got 1 TB on my hard disk so 10 GB I'm going to allocate it to this virtual disk and create create at this stage it is asking uh, you know if you want to um, install the virtual machine um, software right that is a um, or you can say the operating system you need to install the guest operating system it is asking for that file so for now I am um, going to go ahead and see so ubuntu.vdi create ideally you should um, okay create Ideally, you should provide some uh, um, operating system file like an ISO or something. That means I don't know whether I have got the ISO with me. I don't know where I've kept it. okay so you see I have downloaded um, the ISO file it is 1.85 GB so you can even I have the FOSS cloud installer 982 MB if you want to install soft uh, FOSS so let me see if I can show you that remove this machine so you see uh, it is uh, so simple it's uh, we are adding a machine and removing a machine as if it's a uh, software so name is Ubuntu or oh, let's say my Ubuntu 2 some name you're giving to the machine next next uh, so create so use an existing hard disk file so I browse and uh, no this uh, I need to create a virtual hard disk okay create please choose a type of file VDI right right create now if I start let's see what happens I should uh, ideally ask me for the ISO file so it's saying uh, please um, select the virtual optical hard disk or a physical optical drive containing the disk to start your new virtual machine so at this point I um, browse for um, my ISO file so documents uh, and I can select this ISO file and open so this will install the Ubuntu with the, the allocated um, so the operating system size is uh, 1.86 and hard disk we have already allocated and we can say start so it will uh, try to go ahead and start we can uh, view in scale mode so it will expand So first time it will try to install and uh, but I don't want to install this uh, right now uh, so you need to go ahead and install this though 
So let's see uh, that um, it is going to install. So this is your uh, practical number one. You are creating an infrastructure as a service. So can I get out of this? Okay. So just let me close. Uh, save the machine state. Power of the machine. So this is see as good as uh, starting a machine, powering of the machine, shutting down the machine, or saving whatever files you have on the machine. So I'll just say simply power it off. So the moment you power it off it comes back away it says it is powered off so let me delete this because um, it is going to take space so delete all files for in my case so I have already created these machines Ubuntu VM James, Lubuntu VM James so you can have as many machines or you can have also different operating systems on each machine and that is how uh, whenever you um, you know go on the cloud like AWS or, or Google Cloud or maybe uh, Microsoft Azure Cloud you can create virtual machines over there on AWS the virtual machine is provided using a service called Elastic Compute Cloud so that is what your um, assignment number one is okay so for now uh, so we'll continue forward in the second video where we're going to talk about um, how to you know how do we go about doing the platform as a service for now this uh, demo is on uh, infrastructure as a service so we'll continue forward with the next uh, video thank you